Hi, welcome to Sunshine House. We're talking about the letter U this week. We're talking about fantasy and the things to, to do with real and pretend. So it's going to be a great week here at Sunshine House. And the girls have lots of great activities. Mm -hmm. But let's start with our jingle. U says U, 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 Unicorn. On my head I have a horn. So again, where do you find unicorns? In storybooks and maybe in your dreams. Never at a zoo. Mm -hmm. So it's a lot of fun. <laughs> All right. On Tuesday in Center Time, we're actually going to be talking about real and pretend. Um, we are going to talk about the difference between real and pretend, chart down what things could be real, what things are pretend, and um, actually bringing in fact versus opinion, which is um, the concept, concept, one of the concepts of the month. Um, if you guys don't know what the concepts of the month are, they're usually on um, the newsletters, the newsletters. Which are Facebook. Yeah. Um, but if you guys don't know about them, definitely ask a teacher because um, it's something that we talk about throughout the whole month. So, um, like I said, if you don't know, just ask one of the teachers. And for art that day, or for one of the arts that week, um, we're going to make a wand. So we're going to have some pre-cut stars that are different colors. We're going to have some glitter and glue and um, straws. And the children are going to get to decorate their wand with any kind of glitter, pick out the stars that they want, and then afterwards they'll be able to go around Sunshine House and do whatever they need to do with their oh wand. Oh my, magic. Yes, they are. I'm sure all, you're going to see a lot of glitter and um, a lot of fun wands out there, so you can ask your child what they would do with their wand at home or at school, and it's lots of fun for them. Turning their princess into frogs. I know. Into a goo or goo. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, and me, for my three-year-old, Girls, um, we're going to be doing our circle time. Of course, we're going to begin with our SPA, and it is unicorn, like Miss Lori was saying. Uh, then also, we are going to be doing a thing with scarves. It's a movement, and usually, it's, uh, I do a teacher directed one where I tell them, okay, let's go ahead and put our scarves up in the air, or throw them around, or turn around with the scarf, you know, and things like that. So um, they, they're doing what I ask them to do. So good yes. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Also, um, we're going to be reading a book that's called Into the Castle, and it's a story about. Um, it's a story about some, um, you know, children. They uh, they were told that the monster lives in the castle. So what they do is they go and they cross over a bridge and they cross over this and that. And then finally, um, when they get there, they hear, they hear the monster, you know. And then they go they go and they start going out to the door, up to the steps, along the passage, across the you know, the yard and stuff like that. And finally, at the end. They do meet the monster, and he's thanking them for letting them out. <laughs> oh, very cute. Okay. Right. Yes. So a fun monster. Cute. Yeah. It's not a very cute one. Scary, kind of scary one. Yes. So for you week, for our twos, we will be singing an introduction mm -hmm. song called Two Little Unicorns. Um, we will also be doing using our touch and learn box. It's a picture card bank, and then we have different um, themes in there that we help helps our two year olds learn animals or colors or things at the beach, things at the park. And this week we're going to be looking at things of animals. Animals I see, it's called. So we'll be looking at different animals and where they live at and talk about what color they are or where do we see them at. So turtle, a lion, a dog, a monkey. And we can start um, asking them questions about the monkey. Um, the monkey has a little skinny tail. What do the monkeys use their um, tails for? Where do we see monkeys at? So we'll be doing that with our two-year-old. We will also be dancing to bendable, stretchable, <laughs> bend, um, stretching our body out with the children. And then we're going to be reading a cute book that's called Fuzzy Yellow Ducklings. Um, it's very cute because it has the, for them to be able to fill the book. And also talking about shapes and what color the shape is. And then it turns into a chicky. So talking about the different animals that the shapes also have on their bodies is something that enhances their language with their two-year-olds. That's a good book to use, too, because it teaches them how to read different types of books. Like, instead of just sitting and looking at the pictures, they can, like, yeah. touch so it. So they get involved in our it. circle time, and we actually touch them. Yeah. It also helps also with these because it's a touch and feel. So, so they can touch it. Yeah, and they like that. And I'm sure they'll go home and say, we help Miss B with the book. Or, you know, they did whatever they did with Miss B at circle yeah. time. So. Yeah, they enjoy it very much. Good. So I hope to see you guys for our U-Week. Yep. Yeah. Yes. Bye. Bye. Bye.